This disclaimer was copied without permission. Cheers, quavers, guzzers, swiggers, sibbers, and all other good people out there. This is Donald Trump taking over for a house watch because no way that drunk punk would know anything as much about beer as me. Nobody knows as much about beer as me. I have tremendous knowledge and that's why I'm taking over this channel. Just like I'll take over the presidency of the United States eternally on the 3rd of November. Don't forget to vote for me, of course. Though it doesn't matter really, because no matter how the fake election goes, I will be president anyway. It'll be a continuation. It'll be the greatest continuation ever. Just, just you wait and see. It'll be great. It'll be huge. It'll be greater than in the country of my grandfather in the 30s. Anyway, today we'll have... And I've brought this tremendous bottle opener, which looks like Theodore Roosevelt. He was far from as great a president as I. He was, he was pathetic. He was sad. I'm the greatest president ever, like ever in any country. This is a Red Sonia barrel aged, aged cherry saison. Say song. I like cherries. I like especially picking them. And while I'm pouring this glass, I don't think I can really uh, keep up with it anymore. That was my uh, Donald Trump impersonation. And um, the thing is about this uh, brewery of today, Broaden and Bill from Copenhagen. Uh, that they kind of succumbed to the coronavirus, which is of course very sad, but uh, I mean, no brewery would, would, would want anyone to, to do a, a Donald Trump impersonation while reviewing their beers, I guess. So uh, I wanted to do it as careful as I could, and I thought uh, that the perfect occasion would be a brewery that um, unfortunately doesn't exist anymore. I uh, bought this beer and three others from the brewery, uh, in a local shop, um, local to the, the place that I live, the region of Denmark where I live. Uh, and it's called Honpluk. And if you ever go to Klitmüller, also known as Cold Hawaii, you should definitely uh, go have a look at that little store. It's also a cafe. And um, the guy uh, who owns it, Lars Pedersen, also uh, brews his own beers. Uh, I haven't, haven't tried those yet, but I definitely will. So this is a cherry saison, and you can definitely smell the cherries, and also the um, the sourish um, sourish ale underneath. Now I am a sucker for creek, and in creek it's uh, it's a gooser that lies underneath the cherries. That that is the base of the uh, the cherry beer that a creek is. So this is not in, this is not entirely the same thing. However, I, I hope it will be something to the effect of. Seems a little more thinnish, a bit more fluid in the body of the beer. Uh, very nice. Um, surprisingly murky, actually, Hugh. It's, it's not a completely clear beer. Anyway, I'm just going to snap a photo of it as I usually go for my blog. So sour, uh, a bit wheatish, or a bit, bit, bit. There's a there's a touch of yeast in the smell, which is actually not a good sign, but not necessarily a problem once you get to taste it. And of course, cherries, uh, sweet cherries rather than sour ones. Uh, let's have a taste and see what it does for us. Very nice, refreshing taste. Nice, uh, nice sour 
expression as well. I have to actually be careful not to just hammer this down. This is a very nice and drinkable beer, definitely. More sour notes, I would say, rather than sweet from cherries. You can definitely taste the cherries, but it's more a sour cherry taste once you get it inboard. However, you don't feel much of the yeast. <clears throat> or rather, what felt like a yeast impression in the bouquet uh, does not come across uh, as a yeasty flavor uh, in the aroma. However, whatever made the yeast impression is still present in the beer itself, in the aroma, but not as yeast, more like a base sour taste, kind of in the direction, uh, in the middle between lemon and vinegar. Not in an unpleasant way though. Hmm, nice. Is this what you call crushable? I think this is what you call crushable. Also, you may have noticed there was a there was only a slight bit of foam on top of it, and it kind of it wasn't even real foam. It was more like just sparkling bubbles of um, the carbonic acid, of which there is a lot, which again adds to the refreshment. Um, could could still do with a bit more fleshy, I would say, flavour. It's a bit vague exactly what they wanted to uh, to accomplish with this beer. So what I get is a basically, admitted, a refreshing sourness with a nice sparkling fresh mouthfeel. However, Also a bit too easy to, to hammer down. It kind of lacks contour and edge. On the positive side again, we have the sour cherries. I don't really know. It's, it's a bit too vague for me. I had quite high expectations of these beers. Uh, I mean, one thing is they were expensive, but that is what is to be expected when you buy them at a very small local shop, which also works as a cafe. You you get to pay cafe prices. But besides that, uh, it, I would have expected a bit more uh, of a hip a Copenhagen brewery. So I, I hope we, we will improve over time, but this will only score three stars out of six. And I guess that will be that. This is Donald J. Trump tuning out and uh, asking you kindly to vote for me on the 3rd of November, though it doesn't really matter. If you, if you support me, I'll just take, I'll just steal the election anyway, so you don't really need to vote. And you suckers who vote for the Dems, you just go and vote all that you want. And also send those fake ballots Please to just do that. Just do that. I'll take. I'll take the presidency. I'll continue the presidency. Presidency. I'll continue the presidency anyway. I don't care. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you wrote. I'm going to be the president anyway, and I have to breathe. And also, if you uh, like what, what I do when I when I'm not impersonating people, do like and subscribe, uh, share the video, comment of course if you like me uh, parodying people. Uh, if you don't like it and you want me to stop it completely, you can you can put that in in, in a comment as well. Uh, and if you uh, if you have comments on it, how I can improve it, your comments are of course more than welcome as well. Uh, that'll be all for this time. Follow me on all social media. There are links in the description as always. And also consider supporting me on Patreon if you want to support what I see as positive, responsible and eloquent beer appreciation. Which is very, very important for me to, to stress that it is very important always to drink responsibly. And um, until next time, cheers.
just like I'll take over the presidency of the United States eternally on the 3rd of November. Og hvis lyden er god på det klip, så beholder jeg det sgu bare. Hvad skal vi se? Hvad fanden blev det? Åh, jeg kan ikke finde ud af det her. Fuck, jeg har så mange vinduer åbne, det brækker mig.